guess he sprinted. Nice. Jump that. If I can pillar ult here. Oh no, Agni. This guy has no uh, beads or Aegis. Oh no, dude. The minion's gotten away. Need to block him off there. Oh, he's slowed. Can he reach me? He's so slow. You underestimate my power. Fire giant FG, help me. Hello there. Oh, nice freeze. Let's go. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Final Cam back with another Soul Lane play by play. This time I'm going to be playing a hunter in the Soul Lane because I really never play them over there. I mean, for good reason. But I, I never really upload uh, Hunter gameplays in the old solo lane. If you really want to watch some Hunter gameplay, there's plenty of uh, pro SPL ADCs that make videos. Obviously, I'd recommend Panda Cat. He's my teammate, and he's an awesome guy. You can learn a lot from him. If you really want to learn Hunters, though, you can watch him. You can watch Zatman. Uh, Wowie has also been uploading YouTube videos, and he's a really nice guy. He's one of my good friends. Um, so go check those out. But I am going to be playing a Hunter in the solo lane. I'm going to be playing on her with his new... His new skin. I don't know how to describe the skin, okay? So I'm not going to. We're just going to leave it at that. His new skin is what we'll call it. I kind of just want to make a video with on her. On her? I hardly know her. Um, Sorry about that. Um, No. I wanted to make a video with a hunter. It doesn't even have to be on her. Just a hunter because I kind of wanted to just like do a little explanation. Well, obviously the gameplay will hopefully be a little entertaining. We're going to go a, a different build. Something a little bit bruiser as hunters. Um... But I kind of also just want to talk about why hunters aren't really a thing in the solo lane. Um, they can get away with a, a bruiser build. Like, it, it is possible on them. That's why I'm going to do it, because I think it's fun. But uh, the thing about hunters, because I think hunters are probably the only class that's never really been viable in solo. Uh, assassins, guardians, warriors, and even mages have all been viable there. The thing about hunters is that they don't usually have a ton of CC to initiate fights. One. They're also ranged, so... Whenever you're diving a backline, because that's usually the role of the solo laner and the jungler is to dive the backline. Whenever you're diving the backline and you have ranged autos or you, you, you're not melee, you're not really getting in there. You're trying to keep your distance and you're you're um, staying a bit away from the enemies as you're diving them. Which means that you're not going to be blocking any of the damage that they're doing to help out your jungler, right? If my Hebo dives and he's just like on them and I'm ranged autoing them from far away, I'm not really helping him all that much. Like get in there you know what i mean like it's it's really not doing all that much for him uh i think i'm just gonna go i don't really know what i'm against i'll just go beads not really sure we're gonna go warriors blessing and stuff but you're really not getting in there with him and then you're not really you know filling the role of you of the solo lane you're not um performing the job that you're supposed to you're not initiating you're not really like absorbing damage even if you are building tank you're not really absorbing damage because you're not in the middle of everybody um, and it's different on some mages, you know, you could say, oh, well, mages have range auto attacks, but a lot of mages have a lot better utility as far as, like, heal, CC, um, peeling, and even some of them get, like, really deep, like, Baron goes deep, Jean goes deep, um, Hades obviously goes real deep and is pretty tanky, so, yeah, that's kind of why Hunters have never really been a, a good, uh, pick in the old solo lane, but if the solo lane ever came to a point where it, it was just, like, pure damage and you have to try and carry the game, then obviously Hunters would be a lot better here. Take this jungle buff. Um... But uh, yeah, on her is one of my favorite hunters. He's um, seen by most people, or at least pro players, as like the quintessential like balance god that like shows like a player's skill. Like on her one v ones are a very common thing among like the pro players and uh, like high rank players. It's just a fun little thing. And honestly, on her is a really fun god as well. <laughs> that's the noise it makes when you two, by the way. So that's gonna be throughout this whole video. That's how it's gonna be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, on her is just. He's one of the hunters that I actually do come back to and play very often. I don't, he's he's one of the gods that I can play. I wouldn't say back to back, like every game that I can play him and still have fun. But he's one of the gods that I um, can play pretty often and still enjoy. Because in general, I'm not a I'm not the type of player that can play the same god back to back to back to back and or even play characters that I don't really want to play. That's why I don't usually do god requests on my stream. Oh my gosh, I didn't see what this guy said. You're Suko. You're fine. He said he wanted to get an easy win before bed, but he's playing Suku, so he, of course he's going to get an easy win. Let's see if I can interrupt his two here with my impale. Come on, use it. There we go. Hit him into the wall, too. I'm going to grab my one here, because why not? Maybe hit him a little bit. 
jump on him plus the wave here. Oh my god, he's he's freaking out too much. Oh no, maybe I could have uh, pushed him into the tower there with my two. Maybe gotten a kill off it. Eh. It's whatever. Just gonna do that. <laughs> a little trick with on her is that <clears throat> your one actually gets you credit for minions. And uh, so like, for example, if I was to walk away from the wave, <clears throat> sorry, something in my throat. If I was able to walk away from the wave right here and I threw my one and then walked away and the minions died, I would be getting credit for the wave like all the way over here as long as my, my pillar was still up. So it's pretty cool. And one of the coolest combo combos in the game, if you can pull it off and you actually get it pretty fast, is uh, the pillar impale. So if you're able to throw your pillar and then impale the opponent into the pillar that you just threw down, it's like a really sick play that... It's pretty hard to perform, like, um, consistently. It's pretty hard to do, but when you do it, it's it's very clean and it's very rewarding. I'm going to go Warrior Tabai in a multi-pot. Warrior Tabai just because I want to have that early game ability damage on my ult and my two. Plus, you get pen from your passive. Prot debuff of 20 after one auto. So, you your autos will hit really hard. So, even though I don't have Hunter's Blessing and I went Warrior's Blessing... I, I'm still going to hit pretty hard. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it says in your refiner, okay, no pun intended. This guy didn't get TP, but he may get it now. Some people like to wait to get their t their uh, relic just because they can kind of decide whether to go something else. Um, if they're like winning lane really hard, they can go like a greedier relic or something. But for the most part, I don't really think it's that like necessary of a strat because TP is good... Um, on the offensive end and the defensive end, so you can never really go wrong with just buying TP always. This guy went blink, so that's what he decided to do with his option that he granted himself, you could say. I'm just kind of playing back. I kind of want to fight him, but oh, there he goes. No big deal. He's maxing his two, I think, because that should have hit harder, I think, with purple boots. Hit that again. This guy's good at hitting sun. Kind of weird to trade his ult for my ult, considering my ult's a lower cooldown in. I don't think ever in a million years he had a chance to ult me into tower there. I have beads, I have jump, I have ult. Side ult because I couldn't jump in time. I didn't think he was actually gonna do that. Go grab our blue. So I'm gonna go berserkers next. I think. Well, I am against a service. That kind of changes some things. Maybe I should go Shogun's into Berserkers. He might do that. Because they do have triple mage. I guess triple magical damage. Agony, Cerberus, Fafnir. Guy has no ult. Of course, his ult here. Or his jump, rather. Nice knockup. Nice. I was to say, does he have ult? But he didn't even have to ult. He doesn't have ult, but ended up not, he ended up not needing it either way. Suki only probably owns on her because both of my self peels, my knock up and my three, and then my knock up on my. Um, is he gonna ult me? Oh no. I was gonna say my knock up, or my knock back, I guess you could say, on my two. Um, he's immune to during his two, so. So, like right now, if I was really afraid of the Suku trying to gank me again, and I knew my way was gonna push in on their favor, I could throw my one down, down and just run away, and I would get credit for the minions. So, kind of a cool little thing. The only problem with rushing shogun's, especially as a hunter, is that you don't really do a lot of damage with your auto attacks because it doesn't provide any offensive stats apart from attack speed. It's all just uh, defensive base, really. So, at least until I get berserk, until I get berserkers, I'm not going to be that strong. I probably won't be able to kill this guy, especially once he gets a defense. I will not hit him very hard. As we have like this really long fight. What is he saying, man? Like, what is? What are these voice lines? Let's do that. Get credit for the archers. We need to stack our warriors blessing up. There's another one. 25 true damage. This guy just kind of does play afraid. Give me another warriors proc. That's all I want. There we go. Thank you. 
I could have sold my multi pot and just got wards to be honest. To get the ward right here and then a ward right here. It's usually the best places for the wards. It's pretty hard to gank you when you have those uh, places warded, that vision. I'm not gonna waste my impale, I don't need to. Pele is clear pretty sick. She's gonna go mid here, she's not gonna look for the gank. Kind of a boring landing phase so far. Not much going on here. I am kind of ahead of the Cerberus now, by at least like a whole level. Where'd he go? Oh. What is this guy doing? Oh my god, their entire team is here. Cerberus jumped down, I'll be good. They're all there. I'm gonna try and push the wave under tower at least. So they get a little bit punished for committing here. That should be good. He's gonna die. No, he didn't die. Oh my gosh, Agni's here. The Serb lived with one HP. That is so unfortunate. I thought I would get double kill there. At least two kills. <laughs> That's unfortunate there were four people there. I I maybe could have beads the Fafnir Storm right away, but It was so weird. I it didn't I couldn't see like the animation of the Fafnir. Maybe I'm stupid, but I mean I am stupid. But maybe I'm blind as well. Because I didn't I didn't see the Fafnir three and I just was instantly stunned. I was like, oh what the heck? There we go. At least did get one trade kill. Barely didn't get both of them. Do some of these voice lines. No one out prides the pride lion. Oh, he's the pride lion. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Help. This guy does be hitting his stuns. Just gonna do that and run to my, my blue here. Look, I'll get credit for the minions if they die. They're not dying. Okay, there goes one. I'm not gonna get him now because the pillar went away. I don't really need to wait for these others because I'll just kill it in time. Try and get these wards out. Don't want to just have them sitting in our inventory. Okay. See, I mean, I'm hitting my autos, but they don't do damage, like I said. First time Shogun's on a hunter. <laughs> it's just fun. Just troll. Theory crafting, you know how it is. You know how it is on this channel. What the heck? So, um, we're going to be, I, th I believe, based on the chronological order of these uploads, we're going to be uploading this video, and then tomorrow, or the next video you guys are going to see, or if you want to see it, is going to be a playthrough of a game called Inside that we played on stream the other day. Um, it's a really, really cool game, a really awesome video game that I really enjoy, that um, people seem to be interested in seeing uh, me upload it, so maybe I can jump this too here. Too bad. Did, did you guys hear my ult? My ult went off but didn't go off. That's both their ults down there. Haley might be able to get some kills here. Oh, she didn't have her ult. Bitch rough. This guy also already has a, uh, a rank. A rank 10 Tsukiyomi. Which is honestly disgusting. Get out of there, Kronos. Gets a double kill. All well, my beads were still down, and I could have easily uh, ulted that, but my animation went off for like half a second. I heard it, but it just didn't work. Yeah, so I'm still even with the serve, so that's not the end of the world. Not a lot of outplay potential on Asukiyomi, especially when he's that fed. Could maybe just jumped away a bit. I was going for the cool play. My tower is still alive. Let's go. I also still don't do enough damage, like I said, to really do a whole lot to these guys. We wouldn't get this tower.
So we're gonna go Berserkers into Frostbound and then into Runeforged. Kind of a crazy build. But our DPS won't be that bad, especially if we go Kinsai's last item. We'll be pretty hard to kill and our DPS will be nice. Well, we got the tower. That means we won the lane, right? Let's keep it clear, cause this cosplay is I've seen a farm of the Berserkers. This guy already has Binding. Flame phase has been kind of a uh, resident sleeper. Enemy missing metal. Yeah. An enemy has been he just runs away unless the On the way. unless the uh, Sukiyomi is nearby. Okay. Well, that's his ult down. His blink ult down at that. I didn't even have to use anything on it. He's never gonna kill me. Shut down. Nice shot. I'm gonna start rotating over. I could back for my berserker too. Maybe we'll try and do this if we can in time. I'm gonna throw that over there so it'll slow him before he gets here. So maybe I can get it. Nope. All right, we got the big one at least. Killing spree. Let us impale him away. My team actually doing pretty well over there. Somebody here or something? I'm just trying to bait him. Yep. That's his thorns. It doesn't do a ton of damage to me because I have magical defense enough with it. That's what uh, thorns does. It does magical damage. So, All right, so we were able to get that kill. Just bait him and then play for our teammates. Now I get berserkers. And uh, I can actually get the tier 1 of frostbound as well. If I want. I'll just wait for that. Second relic? Maybe we could just go frenzy and upgrade it right away. Let's do it. Screw the tier one of Frostbound. What it only gives us health and like a little bit of power. Five power. Ten power and 75 health. Nah. Who cares about that? Upgraded Frenzy better. Upgraded Frenzy is gonna increase our damage, but also good for the team. We're we're a solo laner, okay? We gotta help out our team. We got a front line. That's what this frenzy will do. And I guess my shogun's. Actually, when I'm near my teammates with the shogun's frenzy, we'll be popping. I guess I should start rotating over there. I could go push the right wave, but this fight's pretty important. I might decide the game, but we need to be near the Gold Fury. On the way. Tsukiyomi's probably going to be crossing mid here, because he was right, probably rotating over to Golem. Just, we can group up and do Golem, because I have Frenzy Shogun's. We'll do a lot of damage to this. I'm going to use that to zone him a little bit. I'm just going to Frenzy now. No, we dropped it. We can just kill Path. I'm gonna wait. Uh, we didn't get him, but we got gold, I think. Yeah, and Factory's gonna get cleaned up anyway. Oh my gosh, look at that damage from Hebo. Uh, that impel was gonna hit, but this Hebo's popping off. Nice job. It was a little bit sketchy because we dropped it. We were gonna use the Emerald to secure. But either way, I think with how they played that, the fight was gonna be good for us. They jumped into us when we had our frenzy going, and we just output so much damage. See if I can block. Oh, I tried to block his dash just a little bit off. Imagine. That'd be so cool. I'm just gonna go right now. We're at 4k. Whenever people are dead, you want to see what you can do on the map. Always be looking at the map to see what's next. Obviously, I'm a solo laner, so I should go push on my right ways, but I should, I should also try and deny farm where I can while they're dead. And give myself farm. We're in a ward over there. We'll get this blue for free. My teammates are on Pyro. That might be a little bit um, greedy. But they kind of just one-shot it, I guess. I'm hopping in the Hebo backpack. I kind of have to. I'm a useless slow laner. If I was building full damage, I would be more useful, though. <laughs> Didn't want to walk around that corner. I'm pretty close to full Frostbound, but there's nothing for me to farm over there, and I don't want to push up for that next wave. We'll just grab a sentry, come back out of base. We got Pyro. Enemy missing. Pyro, mm, very good. Very underrated for... It's a very underrated objective. But remember when it was a portal? I don't know if it, all of you guys played when Pyro was actually a portal that TP'd you back to fire. 
Oh my. <laughs> I was about to say, dude, Hebo is actually probably sick in Tsukiyomi. He just goes on you. You just go Bancroft. This guy doesn't have Bancroft, but the point still stands. You just go uh, Bancroft, or you don't even go it, and you just one shot him. You just use one of your four ultimates on him. Yes, I said four because his two is also an ultimate. That ability is OP. We're kind of just arenaing it up now. Not playing Conquest. Fighting a lot, which I do like, so I understand. I just want to back for my frost down there. Be right back. I'm gonna just let that die. Come back with frostbound. And now we're gonna start cooking. The thing about uh, Rune Forge as well is obviously it's gonna proc on my one, or not my yeah yeah my run my one because my one's a slow, but it also will just proc on every auto because I'm gonna have frostbound. That's how it works. Since frostbound slows them, slows our considered CC, so Rune Forge extra damage procs. This Hebo man. I don't mind hopping in the backpack. On my way. I'm coming. We could probably do fire whenever for the same reason we could do gold before. We're just one shot it. And then throw the pillar behind him and then impale him into it. Jump on this guy for fun. Okay, we could probably just do fire. I'll just frenzy it. Evo has ult again, so he'll just uh, secure with it if he needs to. I'll tank it because I'm kind of tanky. We could just do this if the Pele comes. I'm just gonna frenzy now and commit to it. And I inhale for secure and then CC me in the servo. I shouldn't have to worry too much here. I'm not gonna beat because I don't have to. Oh, he walled. Oh my gosh, he almost actually completely walled him off. That would have been sick. I can maybe get a. Uh, why is this guy turning around? That is not what you want to do, buddy. That's his beads. Do so. Oh, why did he? Oh, Ymir spammed his one too fast, so he instantly destroyed his own wall. That would have walled off all of them. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate for Weimer. Maybe go Phoenix here. Medusa, no actives. Use my uh, pillar there to just kind of zone them away. I'm gonna drop on this guy. Uh, I thought he was like holding his dash real brutally, so I thought I might be able to get in there on him. Slowing this Fafnir. We should probably just commit to this. Push that guy away. Pillar there, so it's harder for them to get in to our back line. Unless they're sprint. I'm slowing this guy. Well, I guess he sprinted. Thanks. Just gonna jump that. If I can pillar ult here. Oh, no, Agni. This guy has no uh, beads or Aegis. Oh no, dude. The minion's gotten away. Can we block him off there. Oh, he's slowed. Can he reach me? He's so slow. Fire Giant FG, help me. Oh, nice freeze. Let's go. The slow actually just saved me so hard there. I'm going to wall that guy off and then jump over. Oh, I kind of left him to die. We could probably kill this guy, though. Unless he has beads and he beads. He pre-beads my impale, so I can't just sit there and use it to peel. Ugh, unfortunate. That could have been a pentakill if we were able to kill the Tsukiyomi and then kill the, the Serba after, obviously. But Tsuko, uh, he, his movement speed he got, he just walked away from me with his speed buff. And maybe he got movement speed from an ability or something. But I couldn't, uh, couldn't get him. Always live on it. Alright, so Runeforge is next. Don't have a lot of attack speed, but I guess I get some from both these items. And then whenever I frenzy, my, my DPS does shoot up. Definitely a bit greedy and uh, a little ambitious to go for a Phoenix like that, but we had fun. And at the end of the day, that is what matters. I don't even think I didn't grab it. I don't even... Are they on gold? Surely, right? Don't call me Shirley. Okay. I think I just heard him do something left somewhere. I just need a little bit of gold for Reinforged. I kind of want to keep my Warrior's Blessing. It's providing me a good amount of tankiness. Considering I don't have a ton of tankiness. Just some health and some prots here and there. Play your tooth, baby. My team's going to be on gold during this. So even though I could just do these and back for Reinforged. I'm getting gold anyway. Come do this.
All right, back it up. Reporters does have 50 power in it. I think it had 40 power in it before. Did they buff it? I think they did. So the cool thing about Rune Forge is that, and if if I go kin size with my Rune Forge, my kin size damage will be increased because the Rune Forge works on the kin size damage. So kind of a wombo there. It's more of a meme build, but it does Frostbound Rune Forge combo is kind of nice. You get 500 health, and it's pretty good damage. Oh, block that maybe? Yeah, nice. We blocked it. some damage in here. Get blocked by Ymir. We can kill these guys. I'm gonna... I frenzied. What the heck, Agni? I thought he was gonna dash away, so I started holding over there. I'm gonna try and peel here. Oh, no, dude. I I was gonna impale him into my own pillar, but he was not coming in in his too, so... Unfortunate. We just maybe go mid here. Can I reach him? Can we block him here? Oh, no, not quite. Eh. We have Oni Wave, so that's why I say we should go Phoenix. We can't end the game because they're going to be up in time. If we can just get this and go back to fire, it'll be good. Classic Kimura joke. Let's just retreat. We can't end the game quite yet. That Agni dashed into us. Maybe I, maybe he did it on accident. But I started ulting away from the Agni. I don't know if you guys saw me. Because I thought he was just going to immediately dash. Like towards the other way. And I, I would catch him with some of my spears. But he just ulted. Or dashed toward us. And then after I was going to hit the Suko. But of course Suko has freaking knock up me on his too. Because that's how everything is these days. It would have been cool. I got him in the pillar and pale for peel. Kind of wall off my Hebo's autos there. We might as well do this. Shouldn't take us very long. Oh, I can't impale it. You're able to CC it now. Your ability does CC usually um, to interrupt its ability. To interrupt the Pyro's ability, but I guess my 2 doesn't work on it. Alrighty. Now we get a kin size here. Can we afford it? Is it 2700? No, hit this. Bullet surprises. Attack, please. Hit the jungle shrine, Ymir. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. Now we got a kin size. Let's go. Now we're going to be putting out damage. Eh, I mean, 2500 health, 97 physical prot, 108 magical prot. Definitely not very tanky, but I am hard to kill is, what, is what's important. And I do some damage. It's a nice blend. I like I like trying out and trying to make uh, these uh, bruiser hunter builds work. I think it's fun. I don't know if you guys like it or if you've ever tried it in solo, but once again, hunter's not very viable over there. But I guess if you get to this point in the game and if you just go a normal hunter build, like literally full damage, then of course it's viable because you could be doing damage. That's what you need to do. This this freaking skin is so. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the most important part. You guys have probably already seen it. But look at this. Look at the most important part of the skin. Ready? Look at that. Can we get a like for that? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course they're going to be. Why am I doing that? It's my diesel. Link, or uh, Pillar and Pale Fafnir off his own ult. Sometimes when people CC themselves, they make it easy. I could have frenzied all of this, probably, but... Oh my gosh. No. The thorns damage is real, dude. I'm gonna pillar him into my or impale him into my pillar, off of his two. I should have frenzied that stuff, but I was saving it for the phoenix, and I didn't know we were gonna go ham hamskies there, you know, like full on hamskies. I don't know if we can do much here. Be careful, Crunch, you're low. I want to get in there, but no <laughs> problem. Okay. Okay. What the hell is that, man? Block Suki on me here, slow him. Oh, get in there. We're doing some damage. That's Vegas. He's still slowed, though, because you get slowed during your Aegis. This guy's slowed. Rune Forge, Kin Size Prox. Save my ult and my. Or I guess my ult for the jump away. They are respawning, so I don't know if we can do this. They don't have actives, though. 
No, I was going to get my... Uh, I'm going to jump this way. I was going to try and get my ult off right away, but I couldn't. Oh, this guy slowed. No, he's 1 HP. Nice, we got him. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. The pillar impale. We hit it at the end of the game, but that's okay. This guy should die too. Nice, and that's game. GG. We have minions tanking here, so we didn't really have to walk in. Look at all them immunes. Oh no, an enemy has left the game. Alrighty, hit the pillar impale to end the game on the Agni. He beads, but he just beads a little bit too late. My costume oh, seems to have a scratch. My costume seems to have a scratch. <laughs> oh, what a cringe skin. But that's okay. It matches my pers personality. Cringe as well. So, if you guys like, if you guys like the cringe gameplay, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know what you want to see next. But yeah, that's kind of just uh, how hunters are in the soling. So, I don't know. Some some hunters like on her are pretty fun. So maybe maybe in the future, hopefully, it will change. But who who knows. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you have any ideas for my future videos, let me know in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you. I love each and every single one of you. You guys know this. So yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.